So Killer Mike has walked back his claim that Andre 3000 has a new album on the way. Hey, it's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX, and check this out. Killer Mike has recanted his claim that Andre 3000 is working on new music, saying now that he was stoned out of his mind when he made those comments. Mike recently sat down with Sirius XM's Sway in the Morning, and when discussing Killer Mike's recent collaboration with Andre 3000, Sway asked if Andre had anything else he was cooking up, to which Killer Mike replied, yeah, I think we fly out in a couple weeks to go listen to it. He then added that he already heard about nine tracks of unreleased music from Andre 3000. Those beautiful dudes, and what I'm hearing is Dre got an album coming. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think we fly out in a couple weeks to go listen to it. Wow, that's oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, Dre, Andre 3000 got an album coming. Oh, I thought you were joking. No, 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 no. He does. He said he got. He played them nine tracks oh of stuff God. he already had. Wow. Yeah. So I that means Dre sitting on uh, volumes of songs. I never Man, met I can't him wait before. For that. You Andre never met Stacks? Oh, you gotta meet Stacks. Stacks, no. hell of a cool. love you, Heather. That nigga be up here playing the flute right now, talking <laughs> yeah, cool to you. Mad cool. He one of the best people Beautiful. ever, man. I, you Three Stacks has yet to release a solo album in his career, and his last studio LP came as a part of Outkast with 2006's Idlewild. After those claims were made, Killer Mike then sat down for an interview with B103 in Atlanta and said that the comments that he made on Sway in the Morning on Wednesday, June 21st, were blown way out of proportion and that Andre 3000 actually didn't have an album coming out. The song that had everybody thinking it was an album on the way. <laughs> it was everything, though. Pap. <laughs> you want it, you got to go get Michael. Killer Mike is here on V103, the ATL's number one for hip-hop, R&B, and throwbacks. Big Ticket Morning Show. Uh, amazing song, bro. Yes. Yeah. And where did you peel off a verse from Andre if he not making no music? I flew out to mm -hmm. um, let him hear the record because I care what he and Big Boy think about my music. Because okay. they gave me an opportunity to change my life. Them and Regina Davenport who was an A&R at okay. um, Equipment Our Records. And uh, I just played the record for him. And and after I played it, he said, man, you mind if I come back tomorrow and play some stuff for you? I'm like, no, i love to hear the stuff you played. And, and I did hear a bunch of good stuff. Okay. And he said, pick what you want. Wow. And, uh, oh, really? And we picked two records. That was one of them. And um, we, we crafted into a brilliant record. The other record he took back. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. He was like, Kill, I just want to keep that one for myself. I was like, okay, cool. Aww. And then he called me a couple months later and gave me another record. So we have another record together that's like 11 minutes long. Hey, and oh, so, wow. I can't. Oof. So if, if you if you want some of that Andre 3K, you better get Michael. Amen. There ain't no solo coming, baby. Ah, Michael. <laughs> However, Killer Mike also confirmed in a separate interview that there's another collaboration between he and Andre 3000 that exists, featuring Andre 3000 rapping for about seven minutes. When Killer Mike was sitting down with The Breakfast Club, host Charlemagne the God said, Killer Mike played me a record one time with him and Andre. I'm not even joking. This is one of the greatest hip hop records, just musical records I've heard in my life. It's phenomenal. I can't even describe what y'all doing on this record. Killer Mike then responded, there is another Killer Mike and Dre feature and all we gotta do is make this album go number one and make the guys from the label really, really happy and I'll be back next year. It's about 12 minutes, seven and five. Stacks rap longer. When you handsome and all the girls like you, you get to rap longer. So what are your thoughts about all this information that Killer Mike has been putting out there about a new Andre 3000 album? And even though he recanted it, do you think there really is something in the works? Let us know in the comment section, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and stay locked in to Hip Hop DX.